If you want to transfer your WhatsApp messages from one Android phone to another, make use of Google Backup. If you want to transfer your WhatsApp messages from one iPhone to another, make use of iCloud. But what if you want to transfer your WhatsApp messages from one Android phone to an iPhone? What's up everybody? My name is Saf and in today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to be covering. Now guys, I will be transferring my WhatsApp messages from my Galaxy Note 5 to my iPhone 8 Plus. First, let me go ahead and show you what I have got on my Android phone. Now, as you can see, I've got just one conversation on WhatsApp. And in this chat, you can see there are a ton of messages regarding Zoom meetings. We've got some pictures and other messages. So I will be using this conversation as reference. And that's what we're going to be transferring to our iPhone. Now, unlike my Android phone, I've got a ton of chat conversations with several different people on my iPhone and you know what I will be deleting my WhatsApp on my iPhone just so we can start from the scratch so let me go ahead and delete my WhatsApp and just like that all of my WhatsApp messages are gone now guys I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the WhatsApp app on my iPhone so everything is new on this WhatsApp all right so we're gonna be using Dr. Phone app by Wondershare for transferring the WhatsApp messages it's an amazing app absolutely simple and easy to use so first of all you need to go to their website to download the app. I will be providing the link to their website down in the description box below. Now guys, once the app has been downloaded, go ahead and install it onto your PC. Now, in order to use the app, you have to purchase the license, which is gladly quite affordable. You can check the link in the description to learn more about that. Now, opening up the app, you will find a ton of features including data recovery, phone manager, screen unlock, and many of the features. But for the sake of this video, we will be sticking with the WhatsApp transfer feature only. Now, before you go ahead with this feature, you need to make sure that you're running the latest version of this app because WhatsApp pushes its new version every once in a while. So in order to make this process of transferring messages successful, you need to be in line with the latest version of Dr. Phone app. Now, you can check that by tapping on the three lines button up at the top right corner. Off of that, you can tap on check for updates button. Now, as you can see, I'm on the latest version, so I'm all good to go. Also, once you purchase the license, you will get the credentials, so make sure to add them up in the Dr. Phone app to activate it. Tapping on the WhatsApp transfer button would open up this window where you will get the option to transfer your messages from several different social media apps, including Line, Viber, Kick, VChat, and WhatsApp. You even get the option for WhatsApp business. So if you're looking forward to transfer your messages from apps support from WhatsApp, a Dr. Phone app is absolutely fit for you. Now, with the help of this app, you can not only transfer your WhatsApp messages from one device to another, but you can also make backup of your WhatsApp messages and you can also restore them through this app anytime you want. Now, tapping on the transfer WhatsApp messages box will take you to this window where you will be asked to connect your smartphones to your PC. Now, before you begin with this process, there's something that you need to do onto your Android device. Let me tell you. So, on your Android device, you need to turn on the developer options. That you can do by getting inside of settings, then about phone, software info, and right over here, you will find the build number option. Tap on it seven times. That will enable the developer options. Now, the process for enabling the developer options can be different for different Android devices. So make sure to Google about this for your specific Android phone. Once you have enabled the developer options, go back to the main menu of the settings app and get inside of the developer options. Now over here, you need to scroll down until you find this option right over here, which says you USB debugging. Enable that and now you can go ahead and connect your device with the PC. Now first of all you need to connect your source device that in our case is Android and then you need to allow access from your device to your PC. Up next you will be asked for the USB debugging option so give permissions for that as well. After that you can go ahead and connect your iPhone with your PC. So finally once you have connected both of your devices to your PC tap on the transfer button on the Dr. Phone app. Now a pop-up window that will open up asking you whether you want to keep your existing data on your iPhone or not. After selecting the option, go ahead and tap on next. Now guys, at this point, the restoring process will begin. And after a couple of seconds, this window will open up. 
Now guys, you need to follow these instructions to complete the steps described. So what you essentially need to do is go to your Android phone, open a WhatsApp settings, tap on chats tab, and then tap on the chat backup. Now over here guys, you need to make sure that the Google Drive backup is turned off. If it is not, please do that, otherwise this will cause hindrance in the process. Off of that, go ahead and tap on the backup button. Finally, after you are done with that, go ahead and tap on the next button on the Dr. Phone app. Off of that, the Dr. Phone app will install a specific version of WhatsApp on your Android device and that will also make your device restart. So you need to be very patient during this process as the Dr. Phone app undergoes very complicated steps. Finally, after your device boots up, you need to allow the access from your device to your PC yet again. Next up, after a couple of seconds, you will be asked to provide the storage permissions for your newly installed WhatsApp. Now onto your Android device, you will be automatically directed to the app settings. So go ahead and look up for WhatsApp and allow it the permissions. After that, tap on the next button on your PC. Now in this step, you have to configure your newly installed WhatsApp. So put in your phone number and verify it. After that, you will be given the option for restoring the backup. Now this is exactly the backup which Dr. Phone app made a couple of minutes back. So tap on the restore button to restore all of your messages. After the restoring is done, tap on next, put in your name, tap on next one more time to complete the configuration. On your PC, tap on the next button and wait for a couple of minutes until this notice window pops up. Now at this stage, you need to go to your iPhone and configure its WhatsApp. Now as you can see, I have been given this option to go with the iCloud backup, but I'm not gonna go with it. I'm gonna tap on skip restore. Finally, at this stage, you need to type in your name and head over to the PC. So here, you have to tap on the Login Successfully Continue button. Now, for the next step, you have to wait a couple more minutes. And finally, this window will pop up where you will be asked to turn off Find My iPhone from your iPhone device. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. After that, tap on a Try Again button to resume the process. Now, this is the final stage of this process, which is going to take a lot of time. And during this process, your iPhone will also restart. So be patient. And finally, this process will be completed. Now, let me open up the WhatsApp on my iPhone and show you guys the results. As you can see here, I have all of my groups and this is the chat which I transferred from my Android phone. All the messages with the media files including the pictures are all here and this is pretty much it guys. Hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment box below.